We have good days and we have bad days. It's okay to have bad days, but you've got to remind yourself that in order for us to get through this, it's getting through it, right? To get from one end to the other is by getting through it. everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here and if you are already part of our tribe then I would love to welcome you back thank you so much for tuning back in as you can see by the title today we're going to talk about a simple guide to self-care while social distancing now that it's really all settling in and the days of quarantine has become more days more weeks and possibly months of social distancing and being quarantined it's really really truly crucial and important to take care of yourself in the process it's very important to be mindful and aware of what we do in terms of our behavior and activities to aid our difficult emotions now that we have to stay home and our routine has been disrupted our lives as we once knew it no longer is. These changes can create certain emotions in us, which can include loneliness, bored, worried, have anxiety due to the uncertainty. Having everything that we need during this time can truly help with all the emotions that we may be experiencing. So to mention a few, but of course, won't be limited to food, right? A shelter to practice social distance, distancing as well as toilet paper right and also books to me that's a necessity to stay motivated to stay inspired to stay positive whatever works for you make sure you have what you need to help yourself feel better to help yourself feel better for motivation inspiration uh, distraction remember to be mindful of how much you watch the news. Also, be aware of what your resources are. Where are you getting this news from? Connect with your loved ones. Although we have to practice social distancing, physical social distancing, you can try your very best to stay socially connected. Speak to your loved ones, connect with them, share your experience while quarantine, express yourself, right? We all need to be heard. Make sure to listen to them and be there for them. But don't let quarantine be the only thing you talk about. Talk about other things, talk about memories, talk, talk about times you guys have shared, talk about what you miss, talk about what you look forward to, and be present and enjoy the moment. Journaling is a great strategy to get all your thoughts and emotions out of your hand and onto paper. It's also a great way to track yourself and see your progress. Please be sure to give yourself time to just relax. Just take deep breaths and just take a break from everything. <clears throat> Practice self-care. Take care of yourself however that means to you. For me, it's lighting up a candle, having a hair, hair mask in, and having some wine and watching TV. That's what I enjoy occasionally for those days where I feel that things feel a bit more daunting than other days, right? We have good days and we have bad days. It's okay to have bad days, but you've gotta remind yourself that in order for us to get through this, it's getting through it right? To get from one end to the other is by getting through it. Having a strategy to manage your stress during this time, it's really important in terms of helping yourself feel better. And this takes us back to journaling. Remember how I mentioned that you jotting down your emotions and your thoughts helps you keep track of your progress. It also helps you figure out your feelings. If you have a feeling and you actually write down what makes you feel this way. You can keep track of what causes your feelings and that way you can figure out how to help yourself not feel this particular way. Which also takes me back to the news. The news truly really messes with your head and 
this is not the time where we want to um, have too much on our mind. Social distancing can definitely be very difficult to do. However, it can be a chance to slow down. Now that you are social distancing, do you not realize how much of a fast-paced life we live? At least here in New York, everything is so quick. You go to work, you get back, you do what you have to do at home, you sleep for a few hours, and you're back to the same thing. Like such a fast pace. Take this time to slow down and perhaps search within, as I've always told you. Take this time to look within and help yourself feel better and become the best version of yourself. This is a time where you can work on yourself and remember when you work on yourself you create a domino effect you inspire others around you to work in yourself to become a better person and when you become a better person you become a better human being overall a better parent if you have kids a better daughter better friend better partner a better employee or play a better employer if you have your own business it really all starts with you. This is the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe and home. If you are new to my channel and you watch to the end, then I hope you consider subscribing because this means that you did like this video. Like the video. If you like it, actually like it and let me know that you do like it. There's a comment box section below, so feel free to share your thoughts, share your experience, and talk to me. I love to hear back from you guys. So like it, comment if you have anything you would like for me to know, anything you want to share with our tribe, and don't forget to subscribe. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.